But when your legs don't work like they used to before So I remember when she joined the dance team, I guess he was already on the dance team and she was like there's this guy on the team i love the way he dances i love the way his hair falls in he's dancing that's the first thing i remember her saying and she had i think she had a really big crush on him darling i will be loving you till we're 17. when she auditioned we knew from the get-go that she's a really good dancer so obviously she got into the team and then we became friends Uh, it's a very funny story that the first thing I told Anisha was, you know what, your eyes look really scary. Basically, he told me I was like a circus freak, uh, and that's how we first met. <laughs> Super romantic, I know. People fall in love in mysterious way. Maybe just the touch of a hand. Well, me, I fall. Honey now Take me into your loving arms Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Place your head on my beating heart I'm thinking now now maybe we found love right where We uh, worked together for three years in college. But after that, we parted ways because I was ready for a commitment, but she had her doubts during that time. So I was like, I'm not ready to get married. I was only like 21 or 22. So um, we broke up and we stopped talking for like a year. All of the lights land on you. The rest of the world. I was a little shocked because it seemed like everything was going well, and then she said, "No, we're not together." So, you know, I, you could tell she she was sad. There was something missing. She um, there, that connection was still there with him. After a year, I was like kind of ready to like be with someone that I wanted to be with on purpose, not just like trying to find someone. And everything with Hitesh was like good. He started talking to me as friends. And he actually reached out to me with the idea that he had moved on, and if I was dating someone else, he could still be friends with me. And I reached out to him with the idea that I want to get back together. <laughs> I got the biggest shock of my life. because it was obviously a very ecstatic moment for me but at the same time I was very nervous because I had a very major performance the next day and I didn't even say it that way I was like amping up for this moment for like 3 months and I couldn't figure out the words I was like so you know it's been a while we're different but kind of the same things were good could be better I want to do you like think you want to hang like you and it was just uh, um, like that's all I said And then he just sat there in silence for like a minute, which was the longest minute of my life. And then I asked him if he understood what I meant, and he was like, "Yeah, but I need to like be serious. If we're gonna get back together." And I was like, "Yeah, that's what I'm ready for. Yeah, I'm good." I'm good.
टुडे इज आर वेडिंग डे एंड साइड फ्रॉम बींग नर्वस एंक्शियस इट इज वेरी इमोशनल just the fact that i have to let go it's hard it's very hard well you only need the light when it's burning it's going to be hard on all three of us only miss the sun when it starts to snow i should be special only knowing that when you let it go only know you've been high when you're feeling low only hate the road when you're missing home only know you love her I wish your life is as happy and joyous as and fruitful as it has been uh for your mother and me. We both uh are extremely happy about today. And words can't say it all. But the feelings always there. You see you when you close your eyes. Maybe one day you'll understand why. It feels like I'm moving so far away. I mean, it's going to be kind of different and difficult, but I mean, I'm excited. I'm excited to live with it. I'm excited to like start everything, you know, have fun. Um and you know, it's really nice. So, I don't know. It's hard. Only know you've been high when you're feeling low. Only hate the road when you're missing home. Only know you love her when you let her go.